Hey everyone, it's Bonnie. Happy Friday. It is gloomy. It is stormy. It is the perfect evening to talk about Halloween from Kringle Candle. I wanted to burn this one first because this is the black licorice candle. Oh my gosh, this is exciting. Kringle, Kalo Kringle Candle Halloween. I can never say that. Kringle Candle Halloween <laughs> is going to launch next Friday. I gotta do a launch party for this. Friday night into Saturday. So it's like midnight is going to be the launch is what I'm hearing. It's a huge event. If you're just joining me, I am a Kringle Candle ambassador, which means the Kringle Candle did send me these candles to review and preview for free. And then if you use my code Queen Geeks, you're going to get 15% off. So all week we're going to be talking about this launch. There's actually 18 of the soy wax. These are 100% soy wax. These are the white soy wax. They burn amazingly well. And um, gosh, this one, we got to talk about this one more. The, uh, the It Candle. <laughs> um, they're wonderful. I love how strong the soy wax is now. I love the black jars. Um, there's a little bit difference this year in the jars. They're a little bit more translucent. So this was last year's, um, remember Werewolf? Um, see how like these are very opaque? Um, I think it was like a supply issue, but the black jars now, you can kind of see they're a little bit more translucent, but I like them. I really do. I think they're, they're absolutely gorgeous. And what I love about them is when you're burning them, uh, you get what I call like this interesting, like, um, glowy ring. So when they're burning, you can see I got a real nice wax pull going on this one. Um, you can kind of see through the jar a little bit. So they're not like a um, solid black uh, like they were last year. I don't know if you can kind of see even in the back. They just look a little bit different, but I think it was, like I said, uh, the jar supplier. So Beautiful, beautiful. Um, so I want to start reviewing these new ones. So Kringle sent me six of the new ones, including Halloween, which I wanted to do first. <laughs> Gonna hold this one up. Look at the look at the uh, the jar. Isn't that cool? It's a beautiful jar. Uh, the set notes in this one are black licorice anise, fennel, clove, cinnamon, nutmeg, musk, cedarwood, sweet tonka, and vanilla. Now, this is not a straight on black licorice candle. There's some other elements in there. Remember when you were growing up in the 1970s? I don't know if anyone else had these. Um, they were the anise hard candy. They came, they were square, and they were wrapped in like a translucent, deep red, looked very Halloween goth, um, like cellophane. And as a kid, you're like, oh, candy. <laughs> and then you got it and it's like really this deep red and you pop it in your mouth and you're like, oh, <laughs> not sure. And this was a really big like 1940s, I think, um, flavor. Remember, uh, Necco Wafer, I believe, had the anise. But I, I personally love anise. It's a very like strong scent, especially for a kid. Um, not sure how many kids love anise, but it kind of goes hand in hand with the black licorice because black licorice oftentimes has that anise uh, vibe going on. So this candle is kind of like a combination of the two. I get the black licorice, uh, but it doesn't smell, um, you know, like if you buy the black licorice and you stick your nose in the bag, it doesn't smell like black licorice straight on. Uh, there's that anise note mixed in. And Kringle's done the anise spice candle. Uh, they've had a couple with that scent note. Um, I do get a clove cinnamon nutmeg vibe on this one. Um, it's kind of like that pumpkin spice mixing through. I do get a little bit of a sweetness, a touch of vanilla. Uh, cedar wood. I don't really get full on cedar wood. Um, so if you don't like cedar wood, I think it's okay on this one. But um, it's kind of like just a mixture of that black licorice, anise, and then the pumpkin spice scents. But I really like it. Um, this, the throw on this one, I'm going to say 
it's a solid nine. It's not like quite as strong as I thought it was going to be because black licorice sometimes can be like really powerful. Um, it's like in that nine range, but it flows uh, very well. I'll have to say this one, um, smelling it through the entire room when I leave and come back. Uh, it's a really nice, like, black licorice, pumpkin spice, anise kind of vibe. I love it. Um, I knew I was going to love this one. <laughs> when I smelled it on cold, I'm like, I love this one. And um, I love it burning. So I'm super happy with my first Kringle Candle Halloween burn. Um, I want another one of these just because I like to collect uh, licorice type of candles. So... That one is a yay for me. Um, I think next I'm going to burn... I'm actually loving that Sinister. Um, I did actually uh, a little movie this morning. <laughs> I put it on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok um, of three of the candles. This one is definitely interesting to me. It's called It's Evil. It's funny. Someone left a comment. They were like, I wish it was called Good Witch. <laughs> Because it's so funny. This one is actually pastry, spice, butter, caramel, almond, and vanilla. <laughs> like, they were, it's like so funny because it's like it. Then it's like, oh, it's a pastry. It smells really good, though. I love the almond note in here. So I think I'm going to do that one next. I'm going to go through all of these. And then I also want to start into um, some of the ones I already have, like Witching Hour, uh, Let's see, candy corn. I want to talk about candy corn. Um, Trick or Treat actually has two different scent notes. Um, I'm going to put up a screenshot right here because this is actually a photo of the three wicks that are coming. This one is called Hollowed Ground and it's beautiful. I'll have to say I love, love, love that red. Uh, this one is Saffron, Smoky Cedarwood Accord, Honey Sage, Sandalwood, Musk, Vanilla, Patchouli, and Tonka. Sounds very interesting, uh, but there's six of those including Trick or Treat, which is an orange chocolate in the three wick. So in the three wick trick or treat is going to be an orange chocolate, but in the, um, do I have trick or treat? I don't think I had trick or treat. I don't, do I? Wait a minute. Trick or treat. I don't think I have trick or treat. That's, that's one of them that I don't have. Um, I have sinister. Uh, oh no, I do have trick or treat. Oh my gosh, here it is. I'm like getting all confused. Um, this one is poison apple, uh, fur marine. Oh, I love this one. That's right. This is the first. I was like, I love this one. Um, it's almost like a pine, uh, but it's got a bunch of other stuff in it, including apple, like apple and pine. Yeah, I'm digging this one. But just know that um, the three wick is going to be orange, coconut, nuts, chocolate rum, patchouli, amber, sandalwood. I have a trick or treat, I think from last year. That's that scent note. So we're going to talk about that more because I don't want you guys to be confused um, when you order these opening night. It's like, write everything down because there's a lot. So um, some of the other candles that I want to talk about are like Witch's Cauldron, Candy Corn, Poison Apple is back. I got to talk about Poison Apple, Red Rum, Scarecrow, which is the tobacco candle, is amazing. Absolutely love that one. So um, we'll be talking in great detail about the Kringle Candle Halloween launch this week. I got a lot going on for you guys. And um, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.